Hey piggy people, so I wanted to give you guys an update. I did some switching around. So this section that we're looking at right now used to be where Angus and Autumn were. But I decided to move Autumn. She was starting to be lonely, just kind of staying in one corner of the cage. So I have moved her over. She is now sandwiched between the herd and the trio. So I will be working on introducing her to the trio first. I'm really hoping that these guys will get along with her. That would be the most ideal, I think. Backup will be the herd, but I definitely want to try the trio first. So they would have a really large cage if I opened it all the way up. I'm debating about if she goes with the trio, whether I'd give the herd this section back. We'll see. Maybe I'll split it. But so right now, uh, Annie, Annabelle, and Buzz are in this section. I just literally cleaned it out and wiped down all the walls. And now little Buzz is checking everything out. Sniffing. What do you think, buddy? So I don't know exactly how I want it set up, but I did put some of those little utility shelves down just so it's not so open. And some tunnels, and they still have their heat pad back in that corner. And then I'm keeping their hay here so that Autumn has lots of attention. And I'm just going to let Autumn settle a little bit longer and we will be moving forward with intros as soon as I'm done with some of these health issues I'm having with the pigs because that's kind of time consuming and I want to have all my focus when I do intros. So right now we're still waiting for Velvet to be recovering. So she's in the backwood logs there. She's getting better. I had to start giving her pain medication again because she was really reluctant to eat on her own even though her teeth have grown to where she can catch things like grab things. So one of the downsides so far is the bottom left incisor, the one that was cracked, is really not growing. So we are to give her four to six weeks to see what happens with that. It's really slow going. All other three incisors have come in normal and are meeting each other. The right lower incisor is so thick, like it looks like it's compensating for the lack of a left lower incisor. So there's so many unknowns of how this is going to go. It's possible that her left lower incisor was damaged, maybe even damaged at the root, and that's why things are all weird now. But we'll just have to wait and see how her teeth go. I'm just happy that she's kind of starting to eat on her own again. Because for a good week, I was going to bed at midnight and getting up at 5 a.m. So that I had tons and tons of time to feed her. And it was kind of getting a bit tiring, like doing it before work. And then as soon as I got home, and then a bunch of times in the evening, and just before I went to bed late. So I will be very happy if she keeps eating well on her own and I just got my fingers crossed that somehow her front incisors aren't going to go get messed up again and then we've had a bunch of vet visits so Annabelle went because she poked her eye and then she had an ulcer so we had to give her eye drops and everything went well with that totally healed up very quick and then we had the whole thing with Angus who sadly didn't make it that was very stressful and then Huckle had to go to the vet today. So Hucky has, I'm not going to be able to get him on camera. He's back in the back there because he's kind of upset about people bugging him. But he has this red tissue sticking out by his eye. So it's the conjunctiva. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So it's the tissue from underneath his upper eyelid is poking out. And... It's not supposed to be there. There's no sign of infection or that he got poked or bit or anything. My vet is a little worried about whether this is some kind of growth happening. And if that's the case, then she suggested that they cut the tissue away and take it for a biopsy. So right now, he's getting antibiotic eye drops just in case. He's getting pain meds slash anti-inflammatory. And then also some eye lubricant. And we're supposed to do that for 7 to 10 days. 
and see if there's any positive change. And if there is no change, then that's when we would go to the next step where he gets sedated a bit so that they can take a sample of it to see if it's something else. So I really hope it's nothing bad. And it's in such an awkward spot if it were, say, to be something nasty like cancer. So let's hope that's not what it is and it's just for some reason inflamed and that we can get it under control. She said it could have been a little bit bigger for a while and it just now it got big enough that it's popped out to be seen. So if I could get you guys a view of it, I would, but I should have done it earlier when I had him out. Hi, little buzz. How are you doing, handsome man? I wish I had my camera this morning. He was doing crazy laps and like the little silly popcorns were just shaking all over. He was so cute. He's such a handsome little guy. So I really, really hope Autumn will go with these guys. I think she'd have a great time. And it'd be really nice to have a younger pig with him. Because the sisters are going to be five at the end of the year. And Buzz is only going to be one in April. So it'd be nice to have a piggy that's a little bit younger to mix things up. And I must say that it will be nice, like looking on the bright side of sad things, but it will be nice to just have this entire pen just divided in two. Half for the herd and half for the trio. That will be really cool. So yeah, if I can get uh, Velvet back to feeling good, um, get things sorted with Huckle's Eye, then I'll have all the attention for Autumn that she needs to do intros, because intros are stressful. Even when they're going pretty well, I still find them a little bit stressful because you've got to really pay attention to them, and I find I have late nights while I'm trying to watch to make sure everybody's safe, etc. So I want to have my full attention, and right now my attention is like tunnel vision with Autumn, and now I feel like I'm watching Huckle. And I'm kind of on edge just about everything, because it just seems like four pigs have gone to the vet just in January, and I already lost one piggy. So I hope things start improving. You can't see because it's so dark, but Reese is just absolutely passed out in that little cozy there. That's from Budget Bunny, a little cozy cave. Hi, baby piggy. There's the cheekiest little baby girl. Hi, Veda. So Veda has finally decided that I'm okay to take tomato from first thing in the morning. Uh, it's taken her quite a while. She's very cautious, but she finally has taken it from me before I just kind of had to roll it towards her. She's getting pretty good for picking up. I pick her up every cage cleaning, so twice a week. Uh, scoop her up, sit with her, snuggle her. She's getting pretty good for that. It'll be nice if she'll come to me, like if I have a treat, not during regular veggie time, if I could just call her over like the other piggies, but we're working on it. So anyway, I will give you guys updates as we go, and I'll definitely um, film when I try the intros with these guys. I'd much prefer them with the trio. Uh, the herd is kind of iffy, because Raisin is always like an absolute beast when you introduce a new pig, because she's so on edge. I think it has to do with her lack of vision, but she's always just totally crazy, so that makes me nervous. And then Veda has a huge personality, really cheeky, like the cheekiest little pig I've ever had. She's so cheeky to all the pigs in the herd. So she kind of makes me nervous that she'd be uh, pretty forceful with Autumn. I have no idea what Autumn's going to be like to intro, whether she's going to be submissive or bossy. Angus was definitely the boss between the two of them, but I don't know what she'll be like with those guys. I'm hoping she'll just be happy to have friends and will be a bit timid. And she's doing some coroplast chewing. You little poop. I'm going to have to cover that because I can't stand when they're trying to chew that. Apple is always the worst pig for that. So anyway guys, I will see you all later. Doesn't he look nice on the light colored fleece? You're like a little pastel biggie. 
You little bud? You're getting so brave. He's so adorable. What a cute little patoot. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!